Hey guys, and welcome back to Raise Trains. Today's episode, I bought my first building for the layout. And now that the layout track is done, I can start to think about what kind of buildings uh, I want to put on, you know, how much room I have for various stuff. So let's check out what I've got today. Okay, so I picked this up today at my Lionel store. And I had a talk with the owner, and I asked him if he was okay if I mentioned them, and he was, so it's, I'm sure you guys have figured it out, it's Gerzboski's in Musick, Pennsylvania. They're amazing there. Um, Joe and his family run it, uh, family-run business, and Joe's been really great to me, uh, getting me started, helping me out. Sometimes I'm in there talking to him for like an hour, <laughs> asking him questions. <laughs> so shout out to Gerzboski's. They're amazing. Uh, go on their website because they're great. So I picked this up today from them. Um, and it's the John Deere Service Garage. A plug and play item from Lionel. I figured, again, you guys know I'm not the biggest John Deere fan, yet I keep buying John Deere stuff. <laughs> but I figure uh, this would go great with my John Deere train. And it being plug and play, it's going to be super easy for me to just throw it on there. Um, so let's open it up, take a look at it. I guess this is just the regular service station or gas station that they've repainted a million times. And now they just skinned it to uh, John Deere. That even comes with a little tractor, which I have millions of these little 164th scale. Tractors, so I can actually dress this up a little better than just this thing uh, eventually. But I want to be careful here because there's wires connected to this flag. So look at that, you've got the flag, and the wires, tractor. Mm -mm. Oh, this thing looks cool. So here's here's the plug and play. Uh, oops, here's the plug and play wire, and uh, there it is. <laughs> All right. So what I'm gonna do is we'll put this thing. Uh, we'll turn the camera around and we'll take some close-ups of this thing. It looks really cool. Okay, here we go. Um, this thing looks a lot better than I thought uh, for the price. I thought this would be a little, uh, look a little cheaper than it does. But the detail looks really good on this. Um, you got your flag. Now there's wires running to this, so this flag must light up, which is going to be cool. These doors don't open. I already tried that. I almost broke it, actually. So don't open those doors. You got your tractor here. Um, you got the gas tanks, which is a little weird, but um, the, the building itself actually looks like a John Deere dealer, which I'm very familiar with. Um, and you can see, I love that, the parts and service counter there. There's a computer there, and you've got the John Deere. Um, you've got the John Deere posters look at that <laughs> that's all accurate you can also see the oil in there the john deere uh hydraulic oil and motor oil that looks really cool and then here on the side you got the men's and women's bathrooms super important for a john deere dealer of course <laughs> and that's kind of it so um and then of course you've got your plug and play wire which, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Lionel sells track that 
this will just plug right into, you know, you don't have to do any wiring yourself. Uh, you just plug that into the track and uh, this whole thing will light up. And I have plenty of that uh, track from all my Lion Chief sets. So what we can do is, I still have my track laid out on the carpet here. So we can lay it out, I'll plug it in, and maybe we'll run my John Deere train around a little bit and uh, see how it looks. All right, guys, I almost forgot. I picked this up at Gerzbowski's today, too. Um, I wanted all my sidings to have these uh, bumpers. And I thought I was going to have to kind of make them myself. You could probably do it yourself much cheaper. <laughs> but I saw these. I didn't even know Lionel made them. So I can just stick these uh, on the end, and they're, they light right up on their own, which is really cool. Um, I'm probably going to end up getting three more of these. But let's just let's open this up quick, and I'll show you that too on the layout. I think these are five inch sections. Oh, it's a two pack. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I, th I thought I'd only bought one, but wow, that's, that's a nice surprise. Okay. So I already have two. So I only need to buy one more of these then. Um, yeah, look at that. Um, so the, this was $27. So for two, that's really good. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know why you'd bother making them yourself if, uh, you just buy these. So, yeah, we'll throw this on the layout too. You guys can see that. All right, guys, we're going to look at the lighted bumpers first. These things look great. <laughs> um, like I said, it was 27 bucks for the two. I'm definitely going to buy two more, uh, for over here. <clears throat> Cause that's, that's cool. <laughs> and then here's the service station all lit up look at that you can see inside that looks really cool gas pumps are lit up and then the signs lit up with LEDs uh, it looks a lot better off camera I guess the camera's having a hard time picking that out but you can see John Deere nice and clear and then the building's lit up. Inside the garage is lit up. I wish those doors opened. They kind of swing back. And I'm afraid I'm going to break it if I push it. I don't know. Maybe I'll play, play around with it and see if those open. Because it would be cool to leave those open. I could stick some tractors in there. But, yeah, this thing looks great. The plug-and-play. I, I specifically put these plug-and-play things on the sidings here. Um, so, you know, when I get it on the layout, I can drill a hole and stick the cord through and hide it. I, I know some guys probably don't like the plug and play track cause that's like really ugly, I guess, but I could hide that with scenery and a tree or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll run the, uh, I'll run my John Deere train around a little bit to show this off. Maybe play around with this siding too. So let's check that out. Right, guys that's gonna do it for today um, I love this building for my first 
Um, I got this at Gersbosky's for $107. And I think it's going to be a great addition uh, to the layout. And then these bumpers, uh, this two pack of bumpers is really a nice touch. Um, like I said, that was 27 bucks for the two. So overall, pretty happy today. Um, and that's going to do it. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.